Hi everyone, welcome back to K London. So I'm on my way to an event to read a poem that I wrote that is being published in an anthology. So you guys already know that I'm a five times published author. Waiting for my Uber, is that it? Um, I don't know what the registration is. Uh, F-E, oh yeah, here it is. Wait a minute, I'll tell you in a bit. I'm really excited to be here. It's been a little while since I've been performing poetry out loud. I've been writing stuff, working on a, another novel now. Well, not a, my first novel. So I've kind of just been throwing my energies into that. But I've um, been writing some new stuff, so I dropped some new stuff. But I'm going to open with... It's basically, it's like the first performance poetry piece I ever wrote. So I started rapping, and I was like, rapping looks cool, I want to do that. And I was already writing poems, and then I... Went to a couple of spoken word things. I see people doing that. I thought, I can do that. I'm going to give it a go. So um, I wrote this first piece. And it's kind of like even a little bit sad to me that it's still relevant. Because it shouldn't still be relevant. Hopefully, like I wrote this maybe 20 years ago. It should have passed its time and been gone. But this poem's about guys chatting up girls in the street. <laughs> Literally, when I was young, I think I only deeped it a few years ago, the level of sexual harassment I was receiving, especially when I grew breasts, it was just like, I was very small as well, and it's like, I look like a kid. And um, so yeah, this poem shouldn't be relevant, but it is. And it's the first piece I ever wrote, and it's called, well, first performance poetry piece I ever wrote, it's called Don't Chat To Me. <laughs> he was calling to me, as I'm just minding my business, walking in the street, What's this? Some new kind of mating game that I must have missed or... Now the guy that's whistling is focusing his attention on me. And I'm not seeing any animals around here, so right about now I'm being a little crazy. Or... Ain't never gonna get me to stop to chat to you in the streets the next. I could be walking in a crazy maze of my thoughts, thinking about today, yesterday, or that new jumper that I just bought. When some builder displaying a full moon says, cheer up, love. It's a beautiful afternoon. I figured it was a beautiful afternoon <laughs> before you came to lift me out of my so-called gloom. And I know that some people might be thinking that that's a lift, but to me, that's never going to be a gift. So next comes chirps when I'm on walking on road, ain't never going to work. So what? You want to check man's? I'm like, no, nah, look, mate, I'm a little bit busy. Do you understand? So what? You don't want to check me? I'm like, no, nah, look, mate, I'm late for a date. Maybe I could check you on another day. So what? Does that mean that man's ain't getting a number? And I'm like, no, now let me go. Then two seconds later, I'm in the distance and his attitude starts to stink. He's like, anyway, you are ugly, bitch. I was only chatting to you, so you sucked my dick. I'm like, I knew that. That's why you never got my number, you prick. <laughs> and you see, an image appears before me, or back in the day, I don't know when, when maybe gentlemanly men knew how to treat women in the street. And women be watching guys' eyes, face or bums and thinking about what kind of husband they've become and when they have sex. Men call it sex and women call it love and it's all a bit emotional, trying to give my feelings a shove, trying to become these modern female sexual predators after being influenced by one too many episodes of sex in this city. It's a bitty, getting caught up with too much nitty gritty. Then I can say, actually mate, I'm gay. They say, yes. 
Oh, it's had this fantasy, yeah? A bed to women and me? So now you can see how the conversation switched to how the pleasure immediately becomes his. So here's my plea. When I'm out in the street, don't stop to chat to me. Because emotionally, I'm far too complicated. Thank you. Keisha Thomas, who's an author and a staff member, and Sophie Clay is going to finish the evening with a sunset for us. So, over to you. Over to you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Keisha Thomas, and my piece today is called I Love Me. When I sit down and think about what I love, I start to make a list, and the list starts with me. Does it matter if I'm a girl, boy, he or she? I love me, and I'm as happy as can be. From the minute I was born to who I am now, I cherish the way I explore and frequently learn how. My long black hair, surely I admire. Grey from the root by the time I retire. Chocolate brown skin, I'm going for the win. Put me in the front seat, and I'll take you for a spin. The way that I walk and absolutely the way that I talk. Enter Odin smiling and they all turn and gawk. A positive mind and teeth that shine. I feed my mental, it's mine or mine. The list started with me and it's a love as pure as can be. Because I first loved me and then I loved we. everyone so I didn't get to talk to you before I went in but obviously you saw and I've just got home it's 9 27 and I'm trying to post I'm trying to post my next promotional video for um oh my gosh catching up my shoes I'm trying to post my next promotional video for um for the sparks bite oh my gosh I haven't told you guys <sighs> Okay, so today's Tuesday, right? And on Thursday, it's the third year anniversary of Spark Sunglasses. But I'm also releasing the Spark Sprite Glasses Cleaner. I saw my boxes today. They're on the way. My hair got big. They're on the way. I'm so excited. So I'm in the middle of like trying to post the, um, the next promotional video, right? Because I got all creative and had photo shoots, I had pop like glued on nails and makeup and different coloured hair and da 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 um, for the promotional video so I've literally posted two so far this is the next one to say there's two days to go and um, I'm so excited and then obviously today I had this so um, it might be a crazy thing to say but after like the epic fail of a February that I had with being sick for my birthday and other things that I haven't even shared like February was just not the best month and even though it's my favorite month so much things just seemed to happen it was like um it was like um how do you how can I put it into words it's crazy because obviously you guys know that I'm an author I've just shared a poem that I wrote that's being published so me and words go together very well but I'm I struggle to explain how I felt February was and like I said I always say it's going to be a fantastic February it's my favorite month of the year it's the most amazing month it's ever changing it's like this that and the other blah 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 and then February 2022 came and it just seemed to be wrong from the beginning and although I stayed positive that things would change the tipping point the tipping point was being sick on my birthday, my favourite day out of the whole year. So it's really funny that I then said um, to myself that May was going to be amazing and I found out that my book, I mean, I found out that my poem was being published in May and I wrote it, I think I wrote it in March. Let me see quickly. I think I wrote it in March. Um, quickly phone my phone's been so slow 
today I'm gonna have to get a new phone which is another another video but hey um okay so the last time I saved this note was on the 20 yes look was on the 21st of March right this says submit it by the 18th of March so I must have changed something in there after but anyway um so I published it I mean I wrote it in March I completely forgot about it all of April um, I was doing an awful lot of stuff for Sparks in April and I completely forgot about it and then and then at the start of May I got an email to say we've chosen your poem it's being published as we speak and we want you to read it on the 17th of May and it was just the start of May being marvelous it was the start of May being miraculous it was the start of May being the month that I needed February to be so um, like I said the 19th is the anniversary for spark sunglasses it's also the day that I'm releasing my new product spark spike glasses cleaner I wish I was like sitting down inside telling you about this but I'm standing out here my arm is about to break off but I'm telling you that like go after your dreams go after your dreams I haven't been on stage to share my writings because of COVID like I normally do book events and I haven't had a chance to because of COVID I sat down and wrote this poem and it's being published in a book amongst other amazing writers um, I decided in 2020 that I wanted to put out a, spa, a sunglasses cleaner because all other cleaners act absolutely stink and they're just full of chemicals that you can't even pronounce and when I said it's time to do it I did it and the bottles are so cute my boxes are like printed and they're on their way to me like I don't let anything stop me and um, I just want my life to be a testament to people that you can do it go after your dreams don't let anyone stop you don't wait for anyone to say okay do it like that's the thing like since I've been young I've gone after my dreams I've I, I, I built my business from the ground up my arms about to fall off I literally go above and beyond and I um I know that I've got a purpose I know that there's a reason why like even when sometimes I feel like I don't want to do YouTube anymore I feel like there's a re is that that's a personal thing to me but I feel like there's a reason why I'm doing it and then I put out another video and people love it I put out another video and I get feedback to say what you just shared helped me so how dare I stop like obviously there'll come a day when I do because everything everything has an end um, but my writing my YouTube my sunglasses my photography I haven't done photography the way I would like to because of COVID but guess what I've got a photo shoot coming up like oh god it's just it's just amazing so May has been miraculous really and truly God has worked some miracles in my life in the month of May and we're only halfway through so I can only imagine what else is coming because I've got faith and I believe that even though my favorite month was an epic fail like I said keep your head up it's not gonna be bad always it's not gonna be dark always like gosh I'm so grateful I'm so grateful when I tell you I recorded the poem on my iPod and listened to it a hundred times over I um, rehearsed it in the mirror like let me, let me tell you what I did I rehearsed it in the mirror one one at one one point my eyes were closed like Kaisha remember this poem so I'm in the mirror with my eyes closed like I love me when I sit down and think about what I love I start to make a list and the list starts with me <laughs> like literally I was doing that to try and get this thing in my head I read it over and over and over again I got my mum to hold my phone what I just showed you whilst I read it to make sure that I said it right like yo you guys don't I rehearsed that thing over oh my gosh I think I just saw a bat oh my gosh I think I just saw a bat it was literally above my head you must have seen my eye um oh my gosh that was not a bird okay um i've rehearsed that thing over and over and over again and i know deep in my heart that i made a very small mistake right at the end but it doesn't matter because god is good and people liked it i met 
I met three young ladies who gave me a compliment. Um, a few other people gave me compliments and said they really appreciated the poem. And so I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful to God for giving me the ability to express myself through words the way I do. And that's one thing that I'll never stop doing. Absolutely never. So you guys, I haven't had dinner. It's 9.35. I'm going to go and work out what to eat because I literally finished work, went upstairs to go and get dressed and, um, and left the house at 6.30. I'm going in because you know what, yeah, there's moths because I've got the, the outside light on and that piece of um, flying something, I'm sure that was a bat. I'm so sure that was a bat. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay, wait a minute. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been inspired by that. I hope you enjoyed my poem. I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, and have a good day wherever you are from K London. Now I'm gonna go take a photo of my outfit before I take it off because um, hey, I've only worn this blazer once, and I thought I'd wear it today. Oh my gosh, I was my own stylist, right? And I was like, what on earth am I going to wear? I found what to wear. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I didn't bring my key. So I have to literally knock on the door to get in the house. I left it in the rucksack um, that I take to work and didn't put it in. No, I left it in the house. So I'm getting it in. So embarrassing. <laughs>